What do you see the future of the city being? Don't know, don't care. Don't know, don't care. Don't know, don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I really don't. And Anna's like, I'm just at a point where I don't care. Like I posted this in a video that I did a while ago. So we were talking about a guy that Steve stole a stick from. There was a guy that was breaking every car with a stick and Steve, being the fucking bro that he is, comes along and steals the guy's fucking stick. That's Steve being a bro. He walked up to a criminal and stole his fucking weapon. Anyway, somebody said, why was this dude doing that? What purpose did breaking random windows serve? I don't understand it. And I find it strange and nobody else seems to be questioning it. My response, why is commercial real estate the size of my store going for $75,000 a month when the city's empty? Why is there a charity homeless shelter started by the governor that the city is paying $3,500 to $4,500 a month for per homeless person with rooms more crowded and less sanitary than a 1940s prison? Why are the roads trash even though city budget is over $80 billion a year? Why was indoor dining banned, but building a house in the street for people to dine in during COVID okay? Why are there strict regulations around department of buildings permits for the most basic of construction but no permit necessary to build a house on the street out of plywood for use as a temporary restaurant? right next to cars why is a house in brooklyn with the ceiling falling into the living room selling for 1.4 million dollars why is our education system trash when we spend over twenty-two thousand dollars per year per student why are you allowed to advertise a 1500 square foot space as 3,000 square feet then claim loss factor when i mention it as a 1570 square foot in person without being shut down for fraud why does the Department of Consumer Affairs not care about such blatant false advertising but turn around and fine me for selling laptops with clean and detailed records, allowing the realtor to get away scot-free as he lies about every space in Manhattan? And why is this practice unique to New York City? Why did somebody start setting fires to every garbage bag on the block a few months ago, including one right in front of my window? And why do I get a random financial audit by the Department of Finance after a year of pointing all this out on YouTube? I don't know! I don't know! And I don't care! I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm done. I have so many questions. And after 33 years, I stopped expecting answers. I say this as a native New Yorker who was born here. Built the business from the ground up from scratch here. I just don't care for answers anymore. As I get older, I am no longer interested in finding answers. I am interested in there being less questions and moving to places where there are less questions. That's your answer. What does the future of the city hold? Who the fuck cares? Not my problem anymore.